It could be any day now that we learn whether the Northern Lights Express secures key federal funding. Now, even if the train secures that funding, it is likely still several years away from becoming a reality. But supporters say this project is unique and that it already has state support. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt is here to explain what the steps are, Rose. Kelsey, Randy, when state lawmakers approved $195 million, that unlocked the ability to apply for federal grants. As MnDOT awaits the Fed's decision, it started negotiating with BNSF Railway, which owns the line where this train would operate. We're pushing for Northern Lights Express because it would connect two of the largest Minnesota cities. The nonprofit All Aboard Minnesota pushes for the expansion of rail transportation. So President Brian Nelson says full steam ahead to the proposed passenger train from Target Field to Duluth. We feel that it's important to um, provide other transportation alternatives to driving and flying. Especially, he says, for college students and people who are elderly or have a disability. Jumping Earlier this week, elected officials states. provided an update it's on the project, explaining that they're waiting on two federal back. grants, which would pay for 80% of the cost. If that funding is turned down, MnDOT says it would reapply in the future. There still remain a lot of questions about the project as we're uh, waiting for a word from the feds, and um, we've done our part as best we can here in the state of Minnesota and locally. We'll keep doing that. The train would make four round trips a day on existing BNSF tracks, making four stops, including Coon Rapids. It's not a project, I think, that um, that really should be a top priority. But Anoka County Commissioner Matt Look questions why resources are being put toward what he calls a heavily subsidized line. Ridership is expected to bring in $12 million annually, which would cover 63% of the operating costs. Anoka County does not support this project. We won't support funding for this project. We will not participate in funding. If they want to place a station in Coon Rapids, they can go ahead and do whatever they want to do. Meanwhile, the Anoka Area Chamber of Commerce tells us it does support this project. And MnDOT has said a one-way ticket from Minneapolis to Duluth is expected to cost between $30 and $35. Randy. All right, Rose.